Hey guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make a one page website on Google Sites. Google Sites is a free and easy to use website builder that allows you to create a website for personal or professional use. In this tutorial, we will take you through the step by step process of creating a one page website using Google Sites. So please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise, I will go ahead and jump right into the Google Sites tutorial. To get started on making your own one page website using Google Sites, the first step is to sign into your Google account. You can do this by going to sites.google.com and entering your email address and password. Once you have successfully signed in, you will be taken to the Google Sites homepage where you can begin creating your website. Once you have successfully signed into your Google account, the next step is to choose the type of website that you want to create. Google Sites offers a variety of different website types to choose from, including portfolio websites, event websites, help center websites, project websites, and team websites. Each website type is tailored to a specific purpose, so it's important to choose the one that best fits your needs. In addition to these website types, Google Sites offers pre-made templates that you can use to build your website. These templates provide a structured layout and design for your website, making it much easier and quicker to build than starting from scratch. The templates are customizable, so you can still add your own personal touch to your website. If you prefer to build your website from scratch, select the blank option. This gives you a blank canvas to work with, so you can create a one-page website that's unique and tailored to your needs. Once you are on the Google Site Editor page, you will have a range of options to make your website unique and visually appealing. You can customize various aspects of your website, such as its theme, title, banner, and header type. Additionally, you can add a logo and set the name of your website. In the following sections, we will explore each of these options in detail. Once you are on the Google Sites Builder page, you will see that your new site has a default theme. However, you may want to change this theme to make your website more attractive and better suited to your needs. To change the theme of your website, simply navigate to the top right corner of the page and click on the Themes option. This will bring up a selection of different themes that you can choose from. These themes have different designs and layouts, so you can choose one that fits your website's purpose. Once you have found a theme that you like, simply click on it and it will automatically be applied to your website. This will replace the default theme and give your website a fresh new look. You can always change the theme again later if you decide you want to try something different. Once you have customized the theme of your website on Google Sites, it's time to change the page title. To do this, simply click on the title and select All, then replace it with your own title. You can also customize the title's appearance, such as its style, fonts, font size, and more. If you want to change the banner of your site, simply hover over the current banner and then click on Change Image, located on the bottom left side of the banner. You will then have two options to choose from. The first option is to upload your own image from your computer. The second option is to select an image from the Google Site Gallery, or you can search for an image using Google Search. Choose an image from your album or upload an image from your Google Drive. You can also customize the header of your website. To do this, simply hover over the banner of your website. You will see three options at the bottom left side of the banner, Change Image, Reset, and Header Type. Changing the image means changing the background image or the banner image of your website, which we discussed earlier. The Reset option, if you want to return to the original state, you can always reset. The header type refers to the way the top section of a website is designed and displayed. This section typically includes the website's logo, navigation menu, and other important elements that users need to access quickly. We want to customize the header of our website, so we will click on Header Type. Then you will see there are four different types of website headers. These are Cover, Large Banner, Banner, and Title Only. The cover is designed to showcase a full-screen background image or video. When you choose this header type, the background image or video will be displayed in the entire header section of your website. This can create a dynamic effect and draw visitors' attention to your website's message. The large banner features a large banner image or video. The banner will take up a significant portion of the header section of your website, making it a prominent feature of your website's design. 
The banner includes a small banner image or video. The banner will be displayed at the top of the header section of your website, but it won't take up as much space as the large banner option. The title only includes only the website's name and logo. This option provides a minimalistic and clean design for your website header. It's a good choice if you want to keep the focus on the content of your website rather than on the header itself. To add a logo to your site, click on Add Logo under the site name and upload the logo from your computer. This will give your website a more professional look and feel. If you want to add a new section to your website, navigate to the right-hand side of the page and click on Insert. Here you will find different layouts to choose from in the Content Blocks section. Select the layout that you like and it will automatically be added to your website. Once you have added a new section to your site, it's time to add content to it. Start by uploading an image from your computer that's relevant to the section. Then add a title and write the text that you want to include in the section. You can format the text by using different fonts, sizes, and colors to make it more visually appealing. Repeat this process for each new section that you add to your site until you have all of the content that you need. To add social links to your website, you can choose between two methods. The first method is straightforward, where you can simply click on the Insert option on the right-hand side of the screen and scroll down to Social Links. From there, a pop-up window will appear where you can enter the URL of your social profile and upload an image from your computer, or search for an image on Google. Once you have entered the necessary information, click on Insert. The second method is manual where you have to enter the URL and image separately and then set them up according to your preferences. To use this method, click on the Insert panel on the right-hand side of the screen and scroll down to Button. Click on it and a pop-up window will appear where you can enter the URL and name for your social link. For example, if you want to add your Twitter URL, you can enter it and name it Follow Us. Once you have entered the information, click on Insert. After inserting the button, you need to upload an image for it. To upload an image, navigate to the right-hand side of the screen and click on Insert, then select Image. You can upload an image from your computer or use an image from Google Images. Once you have uploaded the image, fit it with the button. By following either of these methods, you can add social links to your websites. It's essential to include social links on your website as they allow visitors to connect with you on different social media platforms. Once you have designed your website and made all the necessary changes, it's time to publish it. To publish your website, simply navigate to the right-hand side of the screen and click on the Publish button. After clicking on the Publish button, a small window will appear asking you to set up a URL for your website. You can enter any URL you like, but if you have a custom domain and want to use it as your URL, you can click on the Manage button and follow the steps. Once you have entered the URL you want, click on Publish and your site will be live on the internet for everyone to see. It's important to note that once your site is live, anyone with an internet connection can access it. So before publishing your site, make sure to double check all the content and ensure that it's ready for the public eye. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Google Sites. There are more things to learn about Google Sites, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.